Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I'm going to show you how to turn a 2D image or a 2D cartoon like this, for example, into this with one click. It is amazing. This is a new uh, AI image or AI art generator called Styler.ai. Let me show you how I did this. Here's another example while I got you here. Here's Marge Simpson. Here's the original shot, for example. I'll just turn off the top layers. There she is. And then look, 3D version. I don't like that one necessarily. Here's a different version. You can keep running this until you get what you like. Anyways, this is amazing. Let me show you how to do it step by step. All right, so the first step is you want to go to styler.ai. When you do that, you get to sign up or log in if you have an account. You probably don't, so you want to click sign up, and I've just gone ahead and signed up with my Gmail account. I'll quickly note here that you get 200 credits to start, and they regenerate every seven days. So basically 50 batches of four images, just to be specific. Once you've gone ahead and signed in, you can go ahead and click on this new project button right here. And presto, we're in and we're cooking. Okay, the next step here is on the left side, you'll see import images and text to image. In this situation, I wanna use import images, but it also has standard text to image. So if you wanna go text to image, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna import an image. So I just click on the button and then I'm gonna import our Aladdin character for this one. And I hit open and presto, here he is. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm just gonna expand the size of Aladdin just so it's a little bigger in the uh, canvas. So there we go, it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to close that up here. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to click on image to image, the yellow button here on the left side. When I do that, you get a whole bunch of options, but there's really only a few that matter. You can choose your style. Now I'm going to select the default realistic, but I want you to know that there are like 40 of them, 40 other ones here, and they are all excellent. So you can go through them, apocalyptic horror, floral tattoo, dot work, B and W tattoo logos. I mean, it's all here. I'm going to show you the 2D to 3D version here, but again, Styler I has a whole bunch of them. So here we go. Um, the next step that I'm going to do is you can either type out the prompt or better yet, click on auto prompt. When you do that, basically Styler is going to go in or Styler AI is going to go in and try and figure out what's going on in this image so it can replicate it using this style. So here we go. Okay, it came back with a cartoon character with a pink headband that's kind of pinkish, whatever, and purple shirt is smiling for the camera. Now that's the character's dark hair and nose and mouth. Okay, yeah, sounds pretty good. A cartoon character. Now this isn't quite correct. I'm going to go ahead and type in comma, Aladdin, comma, and I'm basically just giving it a little bit more specificity. <laughs> I guess that's the word. So it knows that this is Aladdin and we're going to do Aladdin here. So, okay, cool. Now, the last thing I'll do here is I'm going to change the structure match to 1.0. And basically, this is just how uh, well the generated image we're about to create matches the input of the prompt. So we're basically saying, hey, match it as much as possible. Once you've got that done, click on stylerize. Yeah, that's a pretty cool word. Uh, they're probably going to turn that into a noun or something. I don't know. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and create it. It's going to create four results. I'll come back when they're done. All right, welcome back. So here we go. It's done four examples here, and I can already tell the top two are a little strange. So I'm going to hover over. Actually, you know what? That's not too bad, although that looks like it's changing gender a little bit, but it's 2024, so that's normal. Uh, this one's not too bad, but it looks like it's got a fly on the end of his nose, and he's seen some stuff from Nam. But whatever, there you go. This is the point, and here we go. This one's not quite as 3D as I would have liked. Same with this one, but again, if you get the one you like, like let's say it's this one, all you need to do is click on it and then just click place on canvas. If you do not get the version you want, you can always either re-click on stylerize or you can go ahead and adjust the prompt a little bit and run it again. So if I wanted to run it again, I would just click on stylerize and it would give me another four. Now you'll notice up top right here, it says 160. So every time I click on that, I'm using four credits, but you get 200 free ones and you get 200 every seven days. So keep that in the back of your head. Literally, that is all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Got a lot more stuff coming up.